if there is a stone hitting your head against the stone is not a useful thing to do you just accept that it's a stone and it's hard and then find a something else to do with your head navin have you heard of the fast good cheap triangle yeah it is something that has been bothering me a lot because i have come across a lot of clients who want things done fast good and cheap you can't have all three you can't exactly mm. right i mean this is called a trilemma right? okay trade offs everybody knows there are two things and to get this you have to give up this to get trilemma right? yeah yeah uh, but there are many times in the world where you know trade offs are easy to understand uh, but when there are three things involved and people get confused right yeah, and they are trust me like, they do they are trying to get everything and the number of times i've had to explain everything. people that you can't right. have things that are fast good and cheap it's not just about fast good cheap there are so many interesting trilemmas i thought we'll do an episode just talking about interesting trilemmas okay. that you should be aware there of there are right? more of these yeah, lots lots right so one uh is uh, steven pinker huh? has come up with something called the social trilemma right okay which basically says that society can't be fair equal and free okay all three society right? can't be fair why can't it be fair and equal about and it. free uh right if society is fair ha huh? individuals who work harder are going to accumulate more wealth okay then it can't be equal okay right That's true if it is free right parents will leave the bulk of their money to their children they should be free to do that right otherwise it's not free correct then again you have inequality it's not right? yeah in it it's so, equal and that's not right, fair right so so it can't be free fair and equal that yet the thing that the reason why trilemmas are tricky huh? is because our brain doesn't quickly grasp all three th sides of three the three sides of sun right so there are lots of people going around assuming that there can be a fair equal and free society it's just that ours isn't because of corruption or something <laughs> like that right so um okay that's an interesting way to think about it i haven't really thought about it in that fact, way you know in uh, techies might know about the cap theorem what's where, the cap theorem um, i won't explain it it's complicated but basically it is says that in a distributed system consistency availability and uh, partition tolerance all three you cannot get and people used to try to design systems with all these three things until somebody just went and proved mathematically that this is not possible <laughs> there is a mathematical proof for it yes okay yes. the most of the things we are talking about in this episode don't have a mathematical proof yeah. but sort of if you think about it carefully enough you can see the basic logic yeah uh, there, i mean right? like the the fast food cheap triangle is very logical when you think about well, yeah, it yeah see you can have something hmm. quickly and which is cheap but then it will be low quality correct right? on the other hand you can get good quality stuff for cheap but it will take a long time yeah and right? and this is something that uh, i have noticed happens almost everywhere hmm. from from your restaurants Yeah. to your production yeah. uh, units in in like large machinery right. production yeah. units so let's think of a completely different kind of example let's let's take an example of jobs right okay the naive way of thinking about it is to say that well we want labor huh. we want to have full employment huh. and we want labor to have labor rights huh. right and you obviously you want a society that where there isn't very high inflation correct right you can't have all three right because if you have labor rights ha huh. right and you have full employment they are going to keep getting money and good salaries and raises every year Correct. and that is going to cause inflation because there is money and uh, in the system and not enough goods right <laughs> on the other hand if you have labor rights and low inflation then some people have to be unemployed correct and if you have employment full employment and low inflation then some labor has to be exploited right so wow. you have to give up one of those three again not something that we are used to thinking we are used to assuming that it's an uncomfortable thought but yes. it's also very logical thought and yes. i will have to think a lot more about this correct so correct. yeah i have a question about this but i'll come back to this in a little bit hmm. uh trilemmas any other trilemma yes the one that i love very cute right okay uh, cute. Now, imagine you yeah. can imagine a theoretical leader or a political party in some country like a regime okay where huh? there are lots of countries where a regime is such that you can't have 
a supporter yeah. of the regime who is also honest and intelligent right so that's a trilemma <laughs> so either if a person is supporting an intelligent person is supporting uh, the regime uh-huh. they're being dishonest because internally they don't support but externally they're showing support okay. on the other hand if that person is honest then they cannot support the system the only people who can honestly support, support the system are the dumb ones right Ouch. <laughs> we are not pointing fingers at Correct. any specific yeah. regimes here Correct. so if you happen to get offended by this these vague statements i have nothing more to say yeah. I have no, no, let's take, let's take <laughs> that was just a random fun example not to be taken very seriously let's please take, don't take it very seriously let's take serious examples oh, right yes climate ah. change right hmm. you want energy right electricity and all of that correct correct to be sustainable available and affordable and yes, that please. cannot happen what right because if it is cheap and available it cannot be sustainable uh, you are getting oil out of the uh, ground uh, easily or you are burning trees or something right correct if it is sustainable and always on you are using every for all kinds of things it can't it is, be affordable. can't be cheap and if it is cheap and sustainable then you are going to have power cuts because way too many people are using a limited amount of energy right yeah interesting uh, i wonder whether this trilemma will apply to solar power as well considering the abundance of it and it what will, not it will it will uh, we'll have to uh, uh, i'm actually trying to apply it and see maybe mm-hmm. one of you can no, what, actually outline what will happen i mean if we manage to come up with technology which just does a great job mm-hmm. of uh, using uh, converting solar power our uses of energy will increase to a point where it becomes either uh, unsustainable or you have to restrict some people from using so no matter it. what form of energy we use yes. this trilemma is going to apply yes not if not right now at some point in the future Correct. for sure right i mean when we look at those people uh, we will say my god you people are so lucky you have no idea what we grew up with and those people will have no idea because they will not they <laughs> just completely forget the past that right. makes me wonder if there is such a trilemma with internet also any other <laughs> has to be i mean everybody is like you don't know the internet we lived with in the past it was dial up it was slow you guys are uh, very lucky to have fast broadband internet the biggest trilemma in the world is okay. also the biggest question about the life universe and everything okay douglas adams reference no so this is the problem of evil oh, evil okay evil okay basically huh? saying that god hmm. cannot be all knowing all powerful and all good at the same time you are striking out at religion here now i don't know religion itself strikes at itself this is called the problem of theodicy look it up but basically huh? if god knows everything huh? and god can do anything then why does evil exist in the world ooh right that means god is not good god is okay with having evil right or you have to say that god doesn't know that there is evil happening there not omniscient in which case he is not all knowing or you have to say that god can't fix that evil so god is not omnipotent and god is not all powerful very interesting trilemma yes. here in fact just look at that, that like hundreds of years this of- is not our trilemma this <laughs> is the trilemma of theodicy yeah. so please do not come at us with this this is somebody else lots of philosophers have been talking about this everyone comes up with their own twist on the solution but the fundamental problem remains the fundamental the bigger fundamental problem with all of these trilemmas is how do you if is there a way to solve well not solve no, you them, can't solve it that's the whole point right that there are some things that can't be solved you live with them right how in, that's in, the question how do you live with this as in what do you do to this trilemma to make it palatable to yourself meditation i don't know karmanya vadikaraste right so just see Mainly, no i listen see, what i'm what i'm trying to say is i don't want to tell people that fast food cheap triangle you can only use two there must be a way to no there isn't i mean basically you have to convince them this is a law of nature hmm. and that you know if there is a stone hitting your head against the stone is not a useful thing to do you just accept that it's a stone and it's hard and then find a something else to do with your head all right, right? all right so 
But uh, what if I reach a compromise? Say, uh, yeah. I will not give you fast, but I'll give you as fast as I can. I will right. not so, give so you... So, I guess one of the things that people do with trilemmas is also assume that, oh, you have to pick two. Uh, reality is it's a little more complex, right? If you think of it as three sides of a triangle, you're not on this side or this side or this side. You can be in the middle somewhere. You don't necessarily give up on one completely. You can give up on this partially and this partially and this partially. So you can be at different points in the Squeeze triangle. Squeeze all of the sides in yeah. and create a three-pointed star. So you can adjust the levels of those three things. So mm. uh, to come up with something that makes sense to you, but it's not going to change the fact that you can't have 100% of all three things, right? Mm -hmm. That is the important thing to uh, keep in mind, right? Which is why it's a trilemma, right? like and a dilemma. The way to think of it and to mm -hmm. convince other also mm -hmm. is that um, what people usually end up doing mm -hmm. is that they'll try to get all three mm -hmm. and then we'll let randomness or luck or something decide which one they didn't get. Yeah. So much better to have clarity, have the understanding that I cannot get all three. What should I give up? Correct. What am I willing to give up? Analyze the situation and make a informed, informed decision. decision of giving up this makes most sense or giving up a little bit of this and a little bit of this makes most sense. Right? Hmm. Like, uh, and I keep going back to the fast food cheap trilemma because it's the hmm. one that I know the best. Yeah. So when people insist on it being absolutely good quality, then yeah. I tell them that you'll have to then compromise heavily on one of the other two. Correct. It can't be fast, it can't be cheap. Right. Everything has a cost. Be aware of the cost. Correct. Right. Correct, correct. Uh, so you don't have to give up on one principle. You can give up on all three of them, little, little, and then come to like a hmm. midway compromise of sorts hmm. to solve. Well, you don't, you don't really solve a trilemma, but to get the best out of the trilemma. Hmm. Uh, any other things to keep in mind about trilemmas? No, <laughs> no. Okay, <laughs> then that's where we stop. This was just a little fun little episode of interesting trilemmas actually look it up you will find a whole bunch of other trilemmas that uh, are interesting to study and analyze and understand like what and are three different things that are pulling at uh, yeah. each and other if you do think of any trilemmas that we haven't covered please post them in the comments we'll try and make like a short bonus uh, yeah. thing whenever we can Srikanth Naveen Bye. future IQ Definitely closing it now. Thank you for watching till the end. If you like this episode, check out these others. You might like them also. And please share with your friends. I'm sure they will also like these. Thank you.